Hello everyone, we are here to present our love-hate data set. This data set is a multimodal, multi-platform data set depicting the emotions in the 2023 Israel-Hamas war. It's multimodal because there is text and images. It's multi-platform because we have data from Facebook and Instagram and we collected data on emotions that, of posts that represent love and of hate. So we collected posts with the keywords love Israel, love Hamas, hate Israel, hate Hamas, or Palestine. We know that Hamas and Palestine are not the same, but at this point we are segregating the data based on region. So the love posts call for support for either side, which is either Israel or Hamas and Palestine, or they call for peace for the general greater region. The hate posts present themes of hostility and they call out hate crimes and directed hate to. We also extract the salient emojis within the post and map them in terms of a word cloud. Love messages have lots of peace and prayer emojis, whereas hate have messages have lots of warning emojis. We also perform a psycholinguistic analysis using the LRWC package to sieve out the parts of speech and the psycholinguistic indicators in the love and hate messages. Love messages are universally directed rather than audience specific and hate messages are more deliberately formulated. In terms of psycholinguistic indicators, love messages use more religious indicators as a binding force. Hate messages focus more on the past and present and using the dividing lines in society like culture and ethnicity. So we also asked GPT-4 to generate love posts in the form of artistic renditions given examples from our data set. We find that GPT-4 generates simplistic images and generic text. So some lessons from the love-hate data set. This data set provides a snapshot of discussions during a real war. And the expression of love consists of subtle shades of the land, of people, of humanity in general. However, hate statements are deliberately formulated and they reflect directed animosity towards a group of people. So this provides the potential to spread fast and wow. That's all for our quick promo on the Love Hate Dataset. Please visit this link to download the dataset and we hope that you will use it. Thank you.